In this video, we're going to be finding the range of the function y equals x squared plus 1 over 3x squared plus 4x without using calculus. So we want to find the values of y for which this curve exists. So the way to do that is to put it equal to k. So we want to find out for which values this curve intersects y equals k, effectively. That's what we're doing here. So we're going to multiply it by the denominator. So we get x squared plus 1 is equal to k times 3x squared. So 3kx squared plus 4x, or 4kx, rather. And I'm going to move everything onto the right-hand side to get 0 equals. So I'm going to subtract x squared from both sides. So I now have 3k take away 1x squared. I've got the 4kx, and I'm subtracting 1 from both sides as well. Now, the discriminant of this would have to be greater than or equal to 0 in order for there to be uh, intersections between this curve and this line. So we're going to need the discriminant to be greater than or equal to 0. So uh, we would have 4k squared take away 4 lots of a times by c. And that's got to be greater than or equal to 0. So that's 16k squared. Now, multiplying this through, we've got minus 4 times minus 1, which is plus 4. So we'll have plus 12k. And then plus 4 times minus 1 will be minus 4. And that's greater than or equal to 0. So I'm going to divide through by 4. And we get 4k squared plus 3k take away 1 is greater than or equal to 0. OK. I'm just going to pop this into my quadratic solver. So 4, 3, and minus 1. And we get 1 quarter, so we'd have 4k minus 1 and minus 1, so k plus 1 is greater than or equal to 0. Now, a quick little sketch of a parabola crossing through at minus 1 and a quarter. Where is the parabola above or equal to 0, above or equal to the x-axis? And so that would be there and there. So when k is less than or equal to minus 1, or k is greater than or equal to 1 quarter. Now we do need to be careful, OK? We do need to be careful because if you return back up here to this quadratic, the coefficient of x squared is 3k minus 1. So you need to also double check that k equals 1 third um, gives you something that is consistent. Because we're saying that k has got to be greater than or equal to a quarter here. Okay? 1 third is in that region, okay, above a quarter. So does that mean that we've got a problem at one third. Okay? So I'm just going to check k is one third into our quadratic, and we get zero equals, well, zero x squared, four lots of a third, so four thirds x take away one. Okay, so this is looking fine because what that's just telling me is that if I add 1 to both sides, multiply it by 3, divide through by 4, that would mean that we would have to have x as 3 quarters. So there's one point of intersection there at that uh, point on the curve. And that's perfectly fine, OK? Um, that's just telling me that actually um, the, the function still exists at that point, OK? So there's nothing going to be a problem with that one point that would make this discriminant method not work, OK? So what that's telling me then is that this is our effective range. So y is less than or equal to minus 1, or y is greater than or equal to 1 quarter. So that's as an inequality. You could be asked to write that answer in set notation. Um, in which case it will, would be y belongs to the real numbers such that y is less than or equal to minus 1 union y belongs to the real numbers such that y is greater than or equal to 1 quarter. Or you could be asked to give it in interval notation. So y belongs to, so uh, minus infinity, 
we've got to have a curved bracket. Then at minus 1, we're including that, so that's a square bracket. Union, square bracket with the quarter, and curved bracket up to infinity. Okay? And so that is how we can find the range for this function without using calculus.